What's going on everybody? This is A to Z Sports Cards back at it. Today is Saturday and we're going to the first ever Ithaca card show. Let's go. Another day, another card show. Today we're going to Ithaca's first card show. Super excited. Let's head on it. Anytime there's a card show less than an hour away, I am a huge fan. And these two first tables were unbelievable. I'm glad I picked up some before someone else bought them. This table had some unbelievable trading cards that I had to give respect to. Working in a card shop, I see this stuff often, so I realize that there's a market out there, and these are some great ones. Most of the cards on this table were hockey, not my sport of choice, but it just shows that there is something for everybody at these shows. Now this is a table I wish I spent more money at. These guys were just getting into sports cards and they had some great prices. Nobody I was looking for, but next time hopefully we can get a deal done.
get ready because this is one of the best tables I've seen in a while. Look at that Jackie Robinson. Unbelievable card. Not today, but eventually. I did end up getting one crazy card from this deal, but you have to check that one out later. I saw all the tables, all the vendors pick up some crazy stuff. Now I'm gonna take us back outside. All right guys, we just finished up at the Ithaca Card Show. Let's take us back home and see what we picked up. We are back at the house guys. Let's look through the stack that we picked up today. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna show you exactly what lots I bought for and what is the sticker price. And we're gonna see how much discount I ended up getting. So, starting with the first deal of the day, we have a five card lot here. So, we're gonna take a look at that. First off, we have the CJ Stroud. Okay, this is a beautiful CJ Stroud from Contender 2023. This is the rookie of the year. Uh, I I saw this is like the only one I saw there of it. Uh, they had ten bucks on this. This was basically a toss in at the end, but beautiful card there. Victor Weminyama got this from Revolution. One of his first rookie cards. I think he, this was one of his first cards out, and then came Hoops. But very nice card there. Like that one. Didn't, I don't believe I have that in my collection currently. We have a beautiful Peyton Manning rookie. This is the refractor version or the hollow version i would say beautiful shine on this one love the look of that peyton manning cards are so undervalued for what he is or how good of a quarterback he was 
I also end up getting this Champ Bailey rookie auto. There was two Champ Baileys, one in his uh, Redskins jersey, the other one in his Georgia. Um, I took the Georgia because it's a little less expensive. I just wanted an auto, and this is a beautiful on-card auto for him. And one of the coolest cards I found was this Kobe Bryant. Okay, Time Warp with Alex English. So the normal cards of this can go for about 3 bucks. So let's talk about the $45 price tag. So this one is actually numbered. It's numbered on the back. There's the Kobe Bryant. This is numbered at 2500 You can get maybe the number ones out of 1200 for about 15 uh, Hard to say. I saw one on eBay for 40 bucks with $5 shipping. So he had $45 on this. The sticker price, I believe, for this lot was 30 60 105 120 130 So at comps, we're at 130 I am getting this whole lot for $100. So we're going to have that on the screen right now. Sticker, 130 Price, I got $100, which I like. I like all these cards. All these cards will be going to my PC. Uh, maybe the CJ Stroud will be some trade bait or something like throw up on eBay, but we will see there. Next up, we have a Steph Curry rookie card. This is from a single dealer. Beautiful Steph Curry rookie here from 2009 Panini. Love the look at that. This had a $140 price tag on it for a rookie card. I ended up only spending $90, $90 on this card, so $50 off. Uh, the guy whose table this was at, I looked at his table one last time for leaving. Uh, he did have a rookie Steph Auto. I think it was a PSA 9. But comps around this card were at 90 so I offered 90 just because it's a card I don't have in my collection, and Steph Curry rookie cards are so hard to find, especially in my area. We then move on to another single card lot. This is a Kevin Garnett. This is 1995 Metal PSA 9. Beautiful card here. I love the Metal Universe. The original price tag was 30 I ended up getting this card for 15 bucks, which is great for PSA 9. That was usually what it's comping I saw them from 12 to 16 bucks, so I offer 15 Maybe there was one comp at 20 but 15 bucks for a Kevin Garnett rookie, Hall of Famer, one I don't have, is pretty good. So there's a trend with this Ithaca card show. I was buying a lot of PC stuff. Reselling wasn't really on my mind. I wanted to find cards that I would like for myself because I am a collector first and foremost. I do have a shop. I do sell, but I look for stuff that I personally enjoy. Like this card, this Dwight Freeney card. I got this for a dollar. This is his Sage Rookie Hall of Famer from Syracuse. I'm a sucker for Syracuse players, especially Hall of Famers. You should see my Syracuse basketball little small PC. Are they going to be anything to anybody else outside of New York? No. You take those cards to uh, Nevada, and they're going to go for next to nothing. But Dwight Freeney, got it for a dollar. Add it to his little collection. Now, the most expensive card comes next. This card was one of the most iconic cards of all time, one of the best running backs of all time, and one of the cards I would never have thought I would be able to afford but I did it anyways. So we have the Jim Brown rookie card. Jimmy Brown. Jim Brown, running back from Syracuse, won the Heisman. Uh, very cool card there. Went to the Browns. An amazing career. Just an unbelievable card. Very iconic. We'll take it out of the sleeve. As you saw on the back, the price tag for this was $650. So pretty strong price tag here. I did not spend $650. I talked to the guy. He's from a town local to me, Newfield, and he had some unbelievable cards. Uh, hopefully you saw in the video. Maybe you even saw that one too. But beautiful. I ended up getting this card for $350. So big markdown from $650. Now, is that a good deal universally? Probably not the best. Uh, some of them authentic SGC cards. It is color added. So someone added color. Um, we're selling for about maybe 200 to 340 in that range. So I paid a little higher than comps, but for a affordable Jim Brown and the guy was already discounted it for me. I didn't want to offend him and offer him too low of an offer. So not the greatest deal in the world, but my first ever Jim Brown rookie going to add that to the collection. Unbelievable card. And I don't care about the condition. I love that's authentic. That's all that really matters. So Went from six fifty to three fifty. This next stack, this stack was 
my resell stack. So there was one dealer there. Oh, as I punched the camera, there is one dealer there from a town local to me called Spencer. Uh, he doesn't have that much contact information, uh, but he follows on Facebook, which is nice. Uh, I got this stack, which was pretty nice. I'll show you all the cards first, and then I'll tell you how much everything was worth. So starting off with, we have the Gunner Henderson rookie card. This is from Bowman's Best. This is the sheesh. <laughs> the sheesh little insert. Very cool. $5 price tag on that card. Beautiful. Those can be selling for pretty good. Uh, we have a Jamie Gillian. So the Scottish Hammer for the Giants and the punter, uh, the punter for us. So very cool. He went started his career with the Browns, but then he came down to the G-Men. So don't see his autograph often, so I had to pick it up, being a Giants fan. This could be sneaky. These uh, 90s refractors can be pretty sneaky. Steve McNair, 3,000-yard club. Uh, I saw these copying regular price at $3, but I noticed when I was looking at it, and I see 90s cards often. I'll zoom in there. It wants to focus right there, refractor. So this is a refractor from the 90s, 1999, I believe. Yep, 1999. So beautiful card there. I will probably put this up on eBay. Let's see what happens. Uh, Steve McNair, not the best name ever. You know, solid career, but not the best name. Uh, I, I think he actually passed away in, in an incident, but nice refractor from the 90s. Those go well better than $3. This player is on a tear this year. We have Patrick Jones, the second rookie auto out of 49. So I believe he might be top five in sacks this year so far, maybe number two. I think number one is Aiden Hutchinson, or last time I checked. But for a $2 auto numbered of a very solid defensive player, I thought $2 was a steal. But beautiful card there. Had to pick that one up from XR. Next was a little PC get for me. Uh, Syracuse player, gold. We have a Judah Mintz out of 75. Judah Mintz. For Syracuse, one of the most entertaining people on the team right now. I think he, I I don't I haven't been listening to talks about this year for Syracuse. I thought he uh got passed over in the draft, so he came back. I'll have to look into it. But uh, entertaining player that I've watched several times, uh, just unbelievable. Uh, Seventy five gold, pretty nice for a PC card. It says fifteen. We actually talked that down to seven. He did he discounted that heavily for me. Another Hall of Famer card I did not have. We have the David Ortiz Topps Chrome Rookie card. This is 1998. So very beautiful card there. I have the regular Topps, did not have the Topps Chrome. These are very hard to find. So this is a card that's probably going to stay with me because I am a Boston fan too. So had to pick up that. Next we have a Jaden Reed for 5 bucks. A numbered patch for Jaden Reed. Pretty good. That's a pretty good deal. Nice card there. Jane Reed has sold for us uh, well in the shop, so had to pick up one for five bucks. This was probably a steal right now with how he's playing. We have the Justin Fields 65 out of 100 rookie card from Luminance for five bucks. This guy is leading the Steelers right now. He is undefeated, so I picked this one up to resell. Hopefully, it goes up from five dollars. Uh, it is numbered out of 100, so I had to pick that one up. Unbelievable! I found that in a nice little discount bin. Then I had to pick up this player who killed the Giants uh, I, uh, last week. Well, not last week. This week because they had a Thursday night game. We have uh, Brandon Aubrey. The, uh, I guess he's the kicker for them. This is his pink optic. Uh, Post Malone is rocking his jersey. I think he's number 17 now, right? if I think about the right jersey. But Brandon Aubrey, he destroyed the Giants. He just, in crunch time, just kept kicking 50-yard, 60-yard field goals. Couldn't stop him. Beautiful card. This card was going for 20 bucks on eBay. So to find that in a value bin for $2, must. A must get. Uh, this was just tossed in. Uh, this is a 1993 Syracuse football booklet with their schedule. Very cool. Uh, Syracuse fan, he knew I was a Syracuse fan, so he just tossed that one in. But nice there. And then only one graded card in this little resale lot. We had the Shaquille O'Neal 1992 All Rookies 6. Uh, I might have this card already. I don't believe so. I'm thinking about cracking it. I think Raw sells better than a 6 anyways. So probably going to crack that one and either keep it with me or uh, maybe take it to the shop and sell it a little higher. But PSA 6, not great. Don't love it. But very nice card there. This whole lot 
added up to $57. I ended up getting the lot for $40, so that'll be on the screen right now. I thought $40 was a very good deal. That's like getting at least you know three or four cards free. So very nice pickup there from our friend in Spencer. And then we had one last deal of the day, two goats in their own sport. Our first one was the Tom Brady rookie from Paramount. It is a PSA 6. Uh, I'm looking at it. I looked at it all over. I couldn't tell unless there were surface issues. The corners look fine, but the price tag on this one was $80. $80 for this rookie card. There was one more score Tom Brady rookie card. I think it was a SGC 7 that I was really interested in, but we couldn't get a deal done. Comps were lower than what the guy wanted, and he was like, I'm not going to sell it for a loss. I'd rather hold it. But okay, and I understand that. It's that's not going to stop me from doing future deals. But I don't if I don't love the deal, I'm not going to buy it. So we got the Tom Brady rookie card, did not have this one. I will probably end up cracking that just seeing what Raw does compared to a PSA 6. I'd rather sell it Raw than a 6 anyways. And then the final card in that lot, we have the Steph Curry again 2009 Panini. This is the 357, which was different than the re uh, regular. I'll pull the regular out. So we have the 357, and this one is 307. So two rookie cards, same release, had to pick it up. This one was going for about uh, 120 last time I checked. PSA 7 did a 120, and he had an, also an $80 price tag here. So I made an offer for the both of them. He was $80 was very high. He dropped a 70 for this one. I looked at comps, and they were at more of the 50, 60 range. So I said, let's toss in that curry. Let's see if we can do 130 for both. And that's what we ended up doing. So two graded Hall of Famers, you know, arguably goats of their sports um, for 130 was a pretty good deal. So at the end of the day, we ended up spending a total of $726. I'll put the actual number up there. I already did the count. I just can't remember the exact number. So that was what we spent, I think sticker is going to be at least in the you know 900s, thousands. And a couple of these cards are already sold to people who wanted to buy them from me, which is wasn't my intent. But, you know, when you live in the card world, you do what you do. But anyways, that is it for today. Thank you all for watching. This has been AZ Sports Cards, and I will see you all next time.